As aviation technology continues to develop at a rapid pace, so too does our requirement to provide our air crews with quality and relevant training. Here in Arizona, on the Barry M. Goldwater Range, though threat resources are available, they are limited in number and lack fidelity, having a negative effect on the quality of F-35 pilot training. This condition is insufficient for preparing our next generation of pilots for conventional warfare in a peer-to-peer -peer or near-peer threat domains. I'm Lieutenant Therese from the 56th Fire Wing. I'm Wiley. I'm a PhD student in electrical engineering from Arizona State. Together, we have been working to develop a low-cost threat emitter system which can be used to enhance pilot training. The system isn't designed to replace current systems, but rather complement them. We've approached this in a novel way through low-cost, dynamic threat replication, and mobile systems. Threat replication in the F-35 uh, is hugely important uh, for us here specifically at Luke because of the primary mission uh, that we do in the F-35 is siege suppression of enemy air defense. The ability to replicate actual emitters and to get the most realistic training uh, is invaluable to our students. To be able to see what it, the actual indications are in their jets and to be able to execute the tactics that we're trying to teach them based off of real world scenarios. Threat replication is everything in the F-35 and it's uh, one of the things that we train to every single day. And part of the relevancy, the resources that we provide really is in the threat arena. Uh, behind me, we've got a uh, unmanned threat emitter that we're fortunate enough to have, but unfortunately we don't have enough of them uh, or the kinds that we need uh, for today's type of training. So that's where we get into the relevancy of trying to stay in step with what do the pilots need, what sort of jets are they flying, obviously with the F-35, very modern. Uh, we've got to stay in step with that. And I believe the, the Making Waves innovation idea of creating a, uh, a radio to emit frequencies is, a, is really a wave of the future that we haven't addressed. We envision this being used broadly across the Air Force, but up until this point, the only testing we've been able to do has been on the bench. Results have been promising, but now it's time to take it to the next level. So that takes us to our ask. What we need is senior level advocacy to take this to the next level of testing, test against live assets, and then do our, our refinement on the system. Ultimately, we would like to take this uh, beyond the testing environment and get it filled into the broader force.